Hey guys, my name is Benny and today I'm going to show you how to set up your telescope in your equatorial mount. Step 1 is to find the perfect place to set up your telescope from. You want to avoid big cities, street lights, car lights and any stray light that could enter your telescope. Both for visual astronomy and astrophotography, it's very important to avoid these things. Also, when you found the perfect spot, do make sure that there are no obstacles in the north that could block your view of Polaris or the North Star, because we're going to need that later on to align our mount. Next step is to find a stable and level surface for you to put your telescope mount on. Asphalt, like we have here in our backyard, is obviously the best choice here, but grass or dirt are also possible. Just do make sure that it's dry and your telescope mount doesn't sink in throughout the night, because even the littlest shift in your polar alignment will throw out the tracking of your telescope mount. Also make sure that the spot you choose is shielded from winds as best as possible. Your telescope isn't the most aerodynamic thing ever, and especially when doing astrophotography, little gusts can have a big impact on your pictures and ruin your whole night. Once you've found a good spot, it's time to actually set up your telescope mount. It's important that your telescope mount is facing north. You can ensure that by downloading a compass app or similar things, but it's very important since we're gonna need Polaris or the North Star later on to align the mount. Next thing we need to do is level out our tripod. My EQ6R has a bubble level right here that easily allows me to set up my tripod. In order to do that, your mount should come with these little screws down here, which you can just turn and then you can easily adjust the height of your tripod legs until you're perfectly level. The next step is polar aligning our telescope mount. Since the Earth is rotating from the west to the east, their stars appear to be moving throughout the night. Our telescope mount will try to counter that by tracking the stars and moving opposite to the Earth. For polar alignment, we need to figure out our longitude in order to ensure that we can see Polaris in the polar scope. As you can see right here, this tells you what the current altitude is and you can adjust it by turning these two knobs until you have the right number on the meter right here. The next thing we need to do is find the North Star in the night sky and make sure that our mount is roughly aligned with it and we can see it through the polar scope later on. To find the North Star, we will use a famous constellation called the Big Dipper. Once you've found that, you want to visualize a line going through the front two stars of the Big Dipper and follow that line until you find Polaris. It's very hard to miss since it's basically the only bright star in that direction. Now that we know what we're looking for, we're going to take a look through the polar scope and you should see something like this. What you're seeing here is the reticle of your polar scope and with a little luck, Polaris. To figure out if the bright star you're seeing is actually Polaris, I always look for the two little stars right next to it. Our aim is now to place Polaris somewhere in this reticle with the help of our declination and longitude adjustment bolts. To figure out where we need to put Polaris in the reticle, I recommend downloading an app like Polar Clock from the Play Store or App Store. After completing all of that, it's time to put on our telescope on our telescope mount and start balancing. In order to do that, we need to loosen this knob right here so our telescope can swing freely throughout the axis and the aim is to get your telescope perfectly level. So no matter where you put it, each of the sides should stay where you are. After that, we need to do the same thing for the other axis. Tighten the other knob so it doesn't go in the direction. And once you're happy with it and it stays in the same position, you're done. While you can push your telescope further in or out on the dovetail for this axis, for this axis, you will need to push the counterweights up or down. So depending on how heavy your setup is, you will need to loosen these knobs down here and move them down or up until it's perfectly level and balanced. Now that the telescope is perfectly aligned and balanced, we need to make sure that it's acclimated to the weather condition. On a hot day, it's important to open up your telescope before viewing or photographing to make sure that the air temperature inside the tube has the same temperature as the outside. Another thing we can do to prevent the weather ruining our viewing nights is to put a heat strap or a dew heater around our big telescope or small telescope and make sure it doesn't do up and doesn't ruin your pictures or your viewing time. We're coming to the end of the video now, so I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new today and please let us know what we could do better in the future and leave feedback on our website.